Capcom has been updating the original Resident Evil games, and in the same vein, 2K is now updating Mafia. The original Mafia trilogy is getting a full definitive edition remaster, with the original game, the 2002 Mafia, getting a full ground up remake with 4K support. We got a brand new trailer for you, so let's take a look at Lost Heaven two decades later. You're Tommy, Detective Norman. How long you been in town? Three years. <laughs> they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? The case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have something. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Ma'am, dead bot, after a beautiful trailer like that, I gotta know, do you have any contacts in the Mafia? Sean, I have left that life behind me. I'm programmed not to form relationships with organized crime. However, I can call one of the developers of Mafia Definitive Edition. Well, fantastic. Let's ring him up, DevBot. Joining me to talk about Mafia is the president and CCO of Hangar 13. It is Hayden Blackman. Hayden, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So for people who haven't played the original Mafia, which is a 2002 release, talk to us about this game. Mafia The Definitive Edition is a complete ground-up remake of Mafia from 2002, which is a seminal game that really launched the Mafia franchise. And in Mafia, you take on the role of Tommy Angelo, who is a cab driver that falls in with the mob during the 1930s, actually during the height of Prohibition, in a city called Lost Heaven, which is loosely based on Chicago. And as a member of the Salieri crime family, he really gets embroiled in a war with the Morello crime family. And we kind of explore that story and Tommy's evolution from cab driver to a uh, respected member of the mafia. I feel like in the last 10 years, we've seen HD editions, remasters that are more graphical updates. But my understanding is that this is far more than just a new coat of paint on a game from 2002. Talk to me about what a remake means. Everything was rebuilt. So every asset, uh, every cinematic was, was reshot and, and um, all the gameplay was completely redone. Now, we've kept all the same big beats from the original game. The story is the same uh, for the most part. All the big plot points are there. All the missions are, are there and represented. Uh, but again, everything was completely rebuilt uh, from the ground up. In order to kind of meet the expectations of, of today's gamers and take advantage of today's technology. The location in pretty much every open world game is a central character. In 2002, we have seen a ton of gameplay changes between then and now, 2020. Can you talk a little bit about some of the ways you've updated the open world setting and maybe some of the new mechanics that players can expect? So we do that a number of different ways. You know, one, we looked at how populated can we make it and we took some of the kind of um, world interactions and some of the things that we did with, um, you know, uh, crowds and non-player characters and, and um, other kind of city life from Mafia 3 and put them into, to, uh, you know, Mafia the Definitive Edition. Um, but we also looked at, are there ways for us to kind of redesign the city so it's more fun to drive around? You know, uh, do we need to widen the streets? Do we need to make sure that there's not as many, um, you know, 90 degree turn so that uh, you can kind of coast around corners and um, as we capture the, the feel of the, the vehicles are there things that we want to do to make sure that the roads have you know grip or they're slick in the rain and so um, that I think brought a lot of life to it as well because most of the way that you engage with the city is, is through driving. I mean speaking of rebuilding things from the ground up I gotta ask you about the cinematics I mean they looked gorgeous in the trailer yeah. <laughs> and I mean what was the process of rebuilding all of those cinematics? 
Um, for us, it was really, you know, how do we recreate these, uh, again, taking advantage of some of the cutting edge stuff that we've been doing at Hangar 13. So, you know, we have, you know, really great um, uh, facial scanning and, and likeness capture technology, a state-of-the-art mocap uh, facility. Uh, so we really wanted to take advantage of that um, for, you know, the definitive edition. So we did go in and we rewrote all the cinematics, uh, again, to add some of that language and add some of that um, character development and maybe some of that clarity that we were going for without losing the essence of, of each moment. Well, now it's time for my favorite question. Yeah. When can we play Mafia Definitive Edition and where can people go right now to learn more? Sure, so uh, we are looking at an August 28th launch date and uh, we still you know, have a ways to go and, and we're, we're working on that kind of final polish push right now, but I'm really confident, really bullish in, in that date right now. If you want more information, you can go to mafiagame.com. After seeing the trailer, I personally am hyped, Hayden. Thank you so much for joining us at this year's PC Gaming Show. Once again, mafiagame.com.